they ask us, you know, hey, we need a cab, and of course we call a cab. Okay, and every day you have some? Almost every day, yeah. If there isn't a taxi available at like the time, say between the hours of like, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know, 10 o'clock and 5 a.m., we normally just have them camp out here. Oh yeah? Where about? Just, we lock up at 9.30 at night, so right here in these vestibule doors. Yeah. There's, so there's a lot of companies that do that, right? Yeah. Um, and, and I guess there's some personal people that are doing that type of transportation also. Um, we are aware of it. We, we've contacted the Border Patrol to make sure that we're not doing, in their eyes, I guess, anything wrong, and they say we're not. Mm -hmm. So that's, I know it's a big, it's a big topic. Roxham Road, as you know, is not even in the city. I know. It so just, he's not available and he doesn't want to talk. I just wanted to ask mm -hmm. uh, if he was aware that the business of the taxi base in Blasburg was involved he's with driving. He's not interested in talking. I'm not into, I can't talk about it and I'm not, yeah. So he's not interested. Okay. okay. But the, the city taxi is a company based in Blasburg, no? Yeah. Were you aware that they were involved in that business? No, to our knowledge, no. You were not? No. Is it legal to do so? I, they're, the tax is only providing a fare. I mean. Alexa Lavoie for Ruben News and I'm staying on top of the growing concern at Roxham Road, where an endless stream of illegal migrants continue to flow into Canada. Today I wanted to check out the Plattsburgh International Airport and the City Taxi Company in Plattsburgh, New York, to ask some important questions about the illegal business of human trafficking happening right in front of our eyes. If you think we need to take action against this illegal immigration, please sign our petition at StopTraffickingToCanada.com to call out New York Mayor Eric Adams, who is helping ship illegal migrants to Canada by providing them with tax-funded bus ticket. Roxham Road is situated about 50 kilometers south of Montreal and about 35 kilometers north of Plasburg. This small road leads to a direct and on-guard path to the U.S.-Canada border. On the Canadian side, RCMP officers established a full-fledged migrant processing facility which has grown over the past few years, replacing the small tents and modest police presence that stood here before. We know now that 82% of illegal migrants crossing Roxanne Road will finish their journey in a taxpayer-funded hotel room or inside a homeless shelter many of which are already at capacity. Rebel reporter David Menzies recently observed that Hotel Niagara Falls are now full, with little room left for visitors as tourist season opens up. We also know that all the services, including lodging, food, healthcare, education, justice services, and more are also publicly funded. Mayor Adams' buzzing program is only making the situation worse. That's why Quebec Premier François Legault has called for Roxham Road to be closed and for Quebec to be reimbursed for the massive expense related to Roxham Road and to relocate illegal migrants to other provinces. When I last traveled to cover this story firsthand by heading to the illegal crossing myself, right at the entrance point where thousands of immigrants are passing through and speaking with themselves to bring you the other side of the story, one of the taxi drivers did not like the fact that I was showing you this recording. The driver attacked me to try and stop my reporting on what's really going on. The good news is that I'm going to sue him and bring justice and show that you cannot stop a rebel. You can support my legal fight at StandWithAlexa.com. Going to report your car. What, what, what are you witness? See that police is witness. Yeah. Get the fuck off this car. You don't touch me. You don't touch me. Don't me. Don't me. Shut the fuck up, man. Don't but there 
is more to this story. Just listen to my exchange with airport security about the migrants arriving by plane. Well, they ask us, you know, hey, we need a cab, and of course we call a cab. Okay, and every day you have some? Almost every day, yeah. Oh, wow, okay. And do you have a lot, or you just not? One, maybe per flight. Okay. Sometimes two, three, it varies. Okay. Sometimes when you, have, you don't have taxi, yep. example, do you have, like, I don't know, like, police agent that drive the, the, uh, them there? Nope, we just always call taxis and... If there isn't a taxi available at like the time, say between the hours of like, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know, 10 o'clock and 5 a.m., we normally just have them camp out here. Oh, yeah? Where about? Just we lock up at 9.30 at night, so right here in these vestibule doors. Okay, and you, they sleep there until like you reopen the, yep. the morning? Never had any trouble with like aggressive or disturbing people? Not really. We've had a couple of odd cases where it's just like they have to get somewhere, but mm -hmm. it's normally settled in a fairly calm manner. Okay. How many do you say that you have? It varies. I mean, like today we could say we could see one. Okay. All day. Okay. But at times we've had upwards of 15 to 30. Did you see an increase of migrant recently? It fluctuates. Sometimes it comes in waves and mm -hmm. then other times it like I said, we could get one that we're going to see all day. And then three months from now, it could just be a solid, like, two weeks straight of just two every single day or mm -hmm. three every single day. And, uh, okay. And they probably all ask for going to they Roxham? Going, yep. Roxham Road? Yep. <laughs> How did they know that road? This is the crazy part. Word travels fast. I also visit City Taxi to find out if they are aware of their employees driving migrants up to the illegal border crossing. Listen carefully to what they told me. Yeah. There's, so there's a lot of companies that do that, right? Yeah. Um, and, and I guess there's some personal people that are doing that type of transportation also. Um, we are aware of it. and we, We've contacted the Border Patrol to make sure that we're not doing in their eyes, I guess, anything wrong, and they say we're not. Mm -hmm. So that's, I know it's a big, it's a big topic. You, you don't find that is breaking the law to drive migrant to enter I, illegally I, a country? I am not a police officer. Yeah. Um, and I think we've gone through the proper channels to make sure that they're not doing anything that, that they don't want us to. Mm -hmm. You know, we've asked all the right questions, I think, over the years, and this is nothing new, right? This has been yeah. a, I've been involved in this for almost 40 years myself, and it's been going on for a long time, right? Um, I, I'm, I'm not going to weigh in one way or another on that. That's a very um, political issue, both in this country and in your country mm -hmm. and in Mexico. I, I think something needs to be done about it also. Mm -hmm. um, we're just kind of, we're just providing a service. We're just doing our, our jobs, I guess. A couple of years ago, uh, somebody from another company got arrested for charging, you know, like five hundred dollars to oh. take somebody from the bus station to the border, there, there it was a big deal here. Um, and the district attorney, I don't know, somehow got together with somebody. I don't know if it's somebody from New York City uh, to say, hey, this is what you can charge. This mm -hmm. is the max that you can charge per per load up there. Um, so that's what they charge, right? I think it's like seventy five dollars or ninety dollars for uh, maximum. Mm -hmm. All my drivers are independent contractors. So, I mean, if they're breaking rules, uh, they're gonna pay the consequence, right? If, if you say that you recognize me, um, were you aware that your driver- I, I am very where? aware of what happened, yeah. Yeah, he's not here anymore. He, um, what, he disappeared afterwards? Uh, no, he and I had a conversation and just thought it would be better if we parted ways at that point in time. I, you know, I've known him for a very long time, um, but again, they're independent contractors, and I think that's just a very hot topic. Um, I don't encourage my drivers to do it. Some of them choose to do that. Mm -hmm. um, we don't promote that here. We're mm -hmm. more local. Now, with the increase of bus of migrant, you probably I, have. I, 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 am, I, I wasn't aware until I watched your video, honestly. I was not aware that New York City was busing people mm -hmm. up here. Kind of like what they're doing from Texas and Florida. They're bringing yeah. people to New York City. And apparently their answer to it is to bring people 
here. Yeah. Again, I don't agree with it, mm -hmm. but that's much bigger than, than me. Yeah. You know, up till about what, maybe five or six years ago, but we didn't, we didn't drive to the border. We would go up to that part that's in between. Mm -hmm. We would drop them there and then they would process them. They would have to walk up the rest of the way. But now you drive them like right. Our drivers do bring them up to the yeah. rocks and roll. You know. I think something obviously in both countries needs to happen, right? Yeah. And it's a, it's a world issue, right? I mean, people are coming again. I also visit the mayor and police station to have their side of the story. But look at what happened. Roxham Road, as you know, is not even in the city. I know. It so just, he's not available and he doesn't want to talk. I just wanted to ask mm -hmm. uh, if he was aware that the business of the taxi base in Plattsburgh was involved he's with driving. He's not interested in talking. I'm not into, I can't talk about it and I'm not. Yeah. So he's not interested. But it's an important issue since since your city is contributing to the illegal crossing no, we border. Don't do, no, the city taxis are not, the city does not own the city taxis. There's nothing to do with the city. Yeah, but. They're all private, so that's all. You don't, no. you don't ask no. like business no, to it, stop no. to do illegal like activity? That is not, I'm not going to answer that question. I'm not going to answer any more questions. So I, there's no, nothing, I'm not answering any questions. So he does not want to speak to you, so that's all I can say. Okay. And is it probably a way to talk to him, like either by email or by phone? No, he does not want to speak with you. Ever. Why me? Oh, he just doesn't want to speak about it. He doesn't want to speak at all. So I'm not going to answer any more questions. Uh, you're welcome to email. Since the mayor of New York is sending the migrant here, so the city is involved in that. I'm not commenting on it at all. If you'd like me to leave me your card or your phone number. I have just a couple of questions uh, regarding um, if the police is aware of the business of the taxi drivers that driving uh, migrants to cross illegally in Canada. Taxi drivers are driving immigrants illegally into Canada? Like they drive them to the border where they can cross illegally at Roxham Road. Did you, uh, I, I just want to know if the police is aware that um, like city taxi or other like, company like that or private vans are driving migrants that arrive by bus or flight uh, to Roxham Road where they cross illegally. Okay. Um, hold on a sec, okay? Yeah. Is that says to stop to the state police of Plattsburgh because they actually patrol up that road we don't go that far in our jurisdiction, so we don't know. Yeah, but the taxi is on your jurisdiction, no? No, the bus, the bus stop in our jurisdiction either. The bus stop in Plattsburgh, though? No, nope. the one out by um, Colonel and Head. It's like a mobile, like... Yeah, it's not our jurisdiction. It's the state police of Plattsburgh again. Is it, is it legal to drive migrant where you know that they would cross illegally to another country? That's not, I mean. You're, you're the police. Correct, but I'm saying the taxi just, if someone pays money to get from here to here, that's, that, that's where they stop, the taxi. Yeah, but in the same time, they, uh, they are promoting Roxham Road. When the bus arrived, they asked them if they want to go to the border of Roxham Road, and they drive them up there, where they know, and the taxi know that they would cross illegally. Is that legal? I mean, I'm not, I'm not sure, unfortunately. But like I said, though, that's... Do, do you have a law in the U.S. that say that if you help people to cross illegally to another country, it's actually a crime? Again, I don't have an answer for you. That would be something Border Patrol would probably know the answer to. Customs and Border Protection. Like I said, I don't have anybody here to answer those questions for you. But it's very possible the state police of Plattsburgh who patrol up there, this is on their radar and they're aware of it. I'm not sure. I'd advise you to speak to them. They're the ones who patrol Roxy and Road. I am going to go back to the bus station. Luckily, the man that recently assaulted me for covering this issue is no longer there. I'm safe for now, but we need to continue reporting on this story.
Pardon. Pardon. ¿Cuánto, cuánto cuesta por el taxi? Eh, más o menos 100 dólares. ¿Cómo? 100 dólares. 100 dólares por todos? ¿El ¿Sí? familia? Family. ¿Ya? Yeah. Yeah. No. Sorry, can I ask you just a question? Where are you from? Can I please don't answer your question? I don't like to get into you. Uh, okay, but you, are you started your trip from Mexico, like on the south, or you I'm fly? From Europe. From Europe. Europe? Yeah, Europe, yeah. So you fly into US? Yeah. And why you came here in Roxham? I got my personal stuff to take care of. Okay. And how did you heard about Roxham? I researched on Google. I try to understand. Where are you from? Which country? I'm from Europe. I'm going to talk to Okay. Okay. Thank you. English. You heard it yourself. There are multiple people responsible for this crisis. Airport provide them with a place to stay upon arrival, offer them tax funded bus ticket by the mayor of New York and drivers of the taxi drop them off at their final destination to cross illegally into Canada. Meanwhile, our RCMP officers welcome them in with open arms. There is nothing in place to stop these irregular arrival. And many of these migrants are crossed without document to show their identity. How can we be sure of who exactly is being let in? Are they drug dealers? Sex traffickers? There is no way of knowing. I promise to stay on this story. Visit StopTraffickingToCanada.com for more and sign our petition demanding New York Mayor Eric Adams stop trafficking illegal migrants to Canada. Thanks. We are still reporting on Roxanne Road. We are not letting that go. What is going on is like the, the situation is going out of control, but we are telling you the other side of the story, what is really happening at Roxanne Road. And so if you want, you can sign our petition. It's really important. Take action today at StopTraffickingToCanada.com and also send a message to the mayor, Eric Adams, that to stop helping migrants to come here illegally in Canada. So do it today, share the petition and make sure a lot of people sign it. Cheers.